Now before drawing actually figures, just remember one thing. If this is lens and if this is foci, the ray which parallel to the principal axis, the refracted ray will be through focus, focal point. And the ray which will pass through the focal point here, it will go parallel to principal axis. The refracted ray will be parallel to principal axis. So you have to just remember these two things. If the incidence is parallel, it will pass through focus. If incidence is passing through focus, it will be parallel to principal axis. Based on this and of course, if it is passing through origin, no deviation. So based on only these two ways, we are going to see six figures. Let us do the six figures. Now let us see how to draw these figures. Just like in case of mirrors, what we will do? Just like in case of mirrors, we will first draw the principal axis. Take this axis little bit longer. Okay. Now here, don't draw lens as a curved part first because we are not interested in those curved parts. In the figure diagram or in the ray diagram, only the center line is important. Optical center is important. So what I'll do, I will draw the lens like this. Okay, just make sure it is equidistant from both the ends. It should be at same distance. Then we have two focuses. Okay, now you have to take the equal distance, two points on the left side, two points on the right side. So here, I will take and on the right side, again I will take, these both points will be marked as, this will be F1 and 2F1 and this is F2 and 2F2. Both the points are equidistant from the O. Okay. Now with respect to this, this is your basic figure, basic ray, ray diagram. And at the end, you just take your protractor and draw the curvature on the both the sides. Okay. Draw the curvatures on the both the sides. Then finish. But initially while drawing the ray diagram, don't complicate your figure because we are concerned with this only at the beginning. So in this case also, we have six places. One is the infinity, second is between infinity and 2F1, infinity and 2F1, third position is 2F1, fourth is between 2F1 and F1, fifth is on the F1 and sixth is between F1 and O. So we have to draw this six ray diagram. That means the object, of course, the object are at these positions. So let us see one by one. Now the first is the object is placed at infinity. In this case, the incident ray will not pass through any of the F1 or F2, whatever it is. All the rays will be parallel to incident ray and what will happen because this is a converging lens all the rays will pass through this f2 that means all the rays refracted rays are converged at this point and that means the image is real inverted and highly diminished a point size image you will get okay whenever the rays are coming from infinity i'm just drawing two rays on each side. Okay, these are the incidence ray. You have to mark these arrow. Of course, you can draw the arrows after the diagram is over and image your refracted rays will pass through F2.
in your book many rays are shown you can show only two or three rays on the top on the bottom it is enough to describe the image okay so this is in case when the object is placed at infinity so in this case what is the nature of the image the nature of the image is inverted real and diminished it is inverted real and highly diminished it is focused at f2 okay now let us see what happens if an object is kept between infinity and 2f1 that means just outside 2f1 let us see what happens now whenever i am taking image i will just take it as one line here i'll take it somewhere here okay don't draw arrow in the beginning the incident ray which is passing through this optical center will not deviate it so this line will remain same now from any object we will draw two rays one ray will go parallel to principal axis and one ray will pass through optical center in all the cases except your first case okay let us do that so my incident ray one ray is going parallel to principal axis and another ray is another ray is passing through optical center so now what will happen this is passing through optical center this is incident ray now the ray which is parallel to principal axis will now pass through f2 and the ray which is passing through origin has got no change at all so now i will pass this ray through f2 and this is the point of intersection so my image will be somewhere here between f2 and 2f2 okay my image will be between f2 and 2f2 so let us write that my image is inverted real and f2 and 2f2 between f2 and 2f2 of course the size of image can be diminished somewhat okay size of image can be diminished so this is very simple similarly we can draw on 2f1 f1 and uh, between 2f1 and f1 on f1 and between o and f1 okay let us draw all these figures one by one drawing these figures are again very simple just draw the principal axis first now i'll draw the lens okay i want to draw only perpendicular line first okay now i'll take the same distance on both the sides f1 2f1 and f2 and 2f2 f2 and 2f2 this will be my optical center this will f1 this is 2f1 this is f2 and 2f2 now we will see the third point it is on 2f1 so let us draw the image on 2f1 okay image is on 2f1 so one ray will be parallel to principal axis and one will pass through your optical center so let us draw the optical center ray first and one ray will be parallel okay so now how the incident ray will go this will pass through f2 see the point of intersection here exactly on 2f2 right that means the image image what we have got is inverted real on 2f2 and same so the image in this case we have got inverted real of the same size object and images are of same size and the sharp image will get at 2f2 perfect point now whenever i am drawing this on the board my pen is not very sharp 
okay even that a uh, scale is because this is a very smooth surface the scale is also a little bit moving here and there so i'm not getting the perfect point but when you are drawing with pencil sharp pencil and scale on the paper vertically the images will be perfect and you will get the perfect figures okay so after the figure is complete then you have to write then you have to draw all this then you have to show incident rays then you have to show this mind well you don't have to use the colored pencils okay you will draw this figure only with black pencil no color pencils are used okay and red and green are totally banned for you because the red is the color of examiner paper checker and green is the color of moderator so you should not use both these colors i am just showing you to just let you understand this figure okay and then you can draw this arrow here i have written there in short form but you should write properly object is equal to don't write like a say object is placed at this 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 object you write at 2f1 image on 2f2 real inverted and same size this will complete your figure similarly like in the case of mirror uh, draw these figures horizontally okay don't draw the figures vertically turn your answer sheet and draw the figures horizontally otherwise it will go outside the paper somewhere and if you uh, take this distance low you will not get the perfect figures the figures will be somewhere cluttered and dirty okay we want spacious figures and don't take this distance very much okay and at last you have to draw the lens also this will complete your figure okay so and this is your perfect figure so now you have understood how to draw this figure one thing i want to tell you that you have to practice this figure many times so that you can draw this figure very fast in exam and perfect not only fast but perfect so let us now see the fourth ray diagram the fourth condition the object is placed between 2f1 and f1 that means in between these two points let us take an object now one ray will pass through optical center and one ray will be parallel to principal axis okay and then this ray refracted wave ray will pass through f2 i have deliberately drawn this figure with only black paint okay so you should have a vision of watching the figures only in one color okay we are not going to use any colored pencils or colored pens in exam so my object is between 2f1 and f1 one ray parallel to principal axis one ray is passing through optical center the ray which came parallel now will pass through f2 and this ray is as it is point of intersection is here so my image in this case is real inverted magnified okay and beyond 2f2 real inverted magnified and beyond 2f2 it will pass 2f2 the image will be of bigger size it will be inverted and it is real so let us now see what happens if an object is kept on f1 let us see that now my object will be kept on f1 let us write the o f2 2f2 this is my f1 and 2f1 now i'll place my object on f1 
one ray will be parallel and one will pass through optical center can you see both the lines are parallel both the refracted rays are parallel so you will never get image or we say that we will get image at infinity okay mind well you have to complete the figure that means draw the arrow here show incident rays show refracted rays and you have to write the arrow for object by the way object is not here so you will never get object so here the image will get is inverted real it is highly magnified and at infinity okay my image will be inverted it will be real it will be very much magnified highly magnified and it will be image will be at infinity now let us see what will happen if the image is kept between f1 and optical center but as you can see they are not going to meet anywhere okay so what we will do you will never get image on that side so we will extend this line on the same side and even this line also i will extend on the same side and now see what you get what do you get this is the point of intersection and you get a big image a magnified image at that point can you see but this image now on the upper side of the principal axis so this is a virtual image you are getting on the same side of the object so how will you get image object is placed between f1 and o you will get virtual magnified erect on the same side of the object and beyond to f1 okay so here we have finished all six diagrams or the ray diagrams for the convex lens of course again again and again i am telling you don't forget to complete your figure you have to show the rays you have to show this ray you have to show this ray you have to draw the lens at end you have to show these arrows and at last you have to write this in proper way that is object between f1 and o images or images virtual highly magnified erect on the same side of the lens or on the same side of the object and beyond 2f2 maybe beyond 2f2 it all depend on where you are keeping your object because this much distance you have we can keep very near to lens we can keep very near to f1 or in between wherever it is possible